Hey art friends, welcome back to another edition of At Home Art with Mrs. Ham. Today we're going to take a trip to South Africa and we're going to take a closer look at Indabelli homes. Uh, these use lots of geometric shapes like circles, squares, triangles, and they're very bright colors. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy this project I have for you today. So go grab a pencil, grab some paper, and let's go. All right, kiddos, here we go. Hope you have your pencil and your paper and you're ready to make an Indabelli home. This um, kind of art <clears throat> is really beautiful to me because of the bright colors and all of the shapes. And so I hope you have a lot of fun making this. Don't worry about getting uh, the shapes perfect. I know when you see geometric shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles, most kids just want to have those perfect, but we're just drawing and, and we're having fun and we're not going to get that technical about it, okay? If you want to go back later and try to really make it sharp with a ruler, you could, but just today, let's just let our hands flow and and our minds and our imaginations get going and, and just have some fun. Not everything is perfect on my house. It doesn't have to be on yours either. So I'm gonna start almost to the top of my paper and just pull straight down. And my opinion, when you do this, the faster you go, the straighter your line. I don't know if that's true or not, but that just seems to work for me. Then we're gonna come across the top, go ahead and close it with a very light pencil line. Okay, because we're going to come back and erase that line back out later. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. So just light, just to kind of close it up so that it makes your drawing a little easier. Then I want you to come outside the house to the left and to the right, just a tiny bit on each side. That's so you can make the top of the hut or the house. So we're going to make a rainbow line on the left and a rainbow line on the right. And if you draw a light, you can erase that pretty easy like I just did and come down. And so you have kind of the shape of a mushroom so far. Now, the reason that these houses have all these wonderful designs on them is a, uh, it's from a war that happened in the 1800s, late 1800s, um, and in South Africa. So women would paint the houses in different um, designs and different colors to give a message to others around them. So the, the drawings are actually symbols of how they were feeling. They were symbols of prayers uh, that they had. And the people in the area where they lived, they could tell um, the meaning of the symbols because it, they all were using the same symbols, if that makes sense. And so I haven't drawn some exact replica of symbols or anything, but they're out there. If you look up on Pinterest or something, you can look up Indabelli houses, and I'll write that word down for you, or I'll, I'll type it on the title of the video. If you look that up, you can look up some of the symbols and everything if you get interested in this and want to know more. There's lots of things to read about that are that are interesting about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my door, and then I'm going to start my door with the rainbow shape, and then I'm going to go back on the inside, and I'm going to draw a letter D on its back, and then a rectangle. Now, um, the more shapes that you draw, the more places there are to color. And that's what makes these homes look really neat. All right, and I'm gonna come over to the right hand side and draw a line about at the top of the rectangle. Same thing to the left hand side. I'm just separating the house into two parts. Now, you're welcome to do any shapes that you want to on your house. You can follow along with me if you want, or have fun doing your own thing, okay? I'm using lots of things like letter V. I'm gonna make a big letter V. I'm using 
rectangles, triangles. Like I said, there's some more advanced designs out there. But I'm trying to keep it enjoyable for us and not something that frustrates you because I do know that shapes can be frustrating for for people. All right, and on the left and the right, I'm making a rectangle. And I'm gonna just do the same shape on the right hand side. And what I did was make sure that I colored them different colors just to add more color to the house. So, all right, I'm gonna go back in and draw another rectangle in each one. And even one more. So inside of this design is a diamond. And same thing, I'm gonna repeat the diamond shape to give another place to color. And then I'm gonna go back in with the circle. I know that I am kind of making these symmetrical, but in real life, they're really not. I looked at several houses. They Because the symbols represent the meaning of something, then they're not necessarily on the house more than once. But this is our artwork, and we can just kind of make it however we want to. All right, I'm completing this part of the design with just some straight lines on either side of the rectangle, just because I really wanted to add the color there. All right, and on my other drawing, I've got two smaller rectangles right here. I barely left enough room, so this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. Don't worry if that happens to you. Like I said, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, really, at all. All right, and then I'm gonna put a circle and a circle. And then I noticed the first time I made it, I had this nice place for a triangle. So I'm gonna fill this space here with the triangle. All right, so I've got this really great space right here. I wanna give it a diamond. And come in and do it one more time. Now I'm just gonna draw that in half. We've got a nice place to color again. Interesting fact about these things, uh, these houses, <laughs> they're still in existence today. This is still around in South Africa. And the women of the home are the painters. And they not only paint the house in these styles still today, but they also create jewelry and just paint on different surfaces in general. So it, it's still a common art form today. All right, so I made two triangles and I put two circles inside and I traced it again and I believe I'm gonna trace it one more time. So there's letter V at this point. All right, now what I'm gonna do now is I wanna make the top of the thatch roof so I'm gonna go back and erase out that line we made earlier that just kind of helped us be able to draw more geometrically. And this roof is made out of straw. So yours may look a little bit different than mine. But what I did was just made kind of zigzags along the, the edges. Letter V, letter W, little rectangle shape. Okay, something like that, or you can make it look more like straw. That would be just fine too. All right, I wanted to complete this house with some outside plants. So I came over to the left and I actually looked at some real pictures from, oh, I don't know, I think it was the 80s, and um, of what the houses look like. And so they had these kinds of features outside. So this one is some kind of little plant that looks like a mini palm tree. Maybe it's a little banana tree, I don't know. 
Okay, and so I'm going to make the plant leaves look like, kind of like little moons. And then I noticed that it just had this little wonky trunk, kind of like this. It was kind of short, not tall like a palm tree. And then over to the right of the house, I'm going to build a, a big clay pot that they've planted a plant in. And so I've got a very flat oval. And I'm going to come around with a slight rainbow line on the left and a slight one on the right. And then I'm going to fill it with these more pointed leaf plants. I'm just building in leaves all to the left and all to the right. And then you can give your pot some stripes. You could also decorate the pot if you wanted to. I just made mine like a clay pot color. All right, so there you have it. This is the Endebelly house. Let me let me write that word for you. N D E B E L E. Endebelly. And so what you want to do now is if you have some form of a black marker or crayon that you can trace with, go ahead and trace it out because that really is accurate for the houses. They really are uh, made with thick black lines, and then. Pick your brightest colors that you have available to you to color the house. That's what makes it unique and beautiful is it's really bright colors. And I am going to um, have some pictures of some Indabelly houses following this part of the video for you to see and enjoy. All right, I hope you had a really good time today and this is something new to you maybe and that you can take this and um, make lots of these little houses. So show me your work and I'll see you soon. Bye. In it and just show you, this is the little plant where I got the inspiration for our picture. And there's the thatch roof. There and you can see the diamonds and the bright colors. All right, we'll look at something different. Uh, notice this has like a gated community all around their huts and they continue to paint designs this is a nice design you might get some ideas from some of these all right this is an indebelly woman now notice that she has rings on her neck and where she lives and she also has them on her legs where she lives that is considered beautiful in the same way that we wear jewelry earrings and necklaces and that sort of thing. She wears these rings to make herself be really beautiful. And these are the clothes of the Indabelly woman. And the rings do not, they don't hurt her or anything. They make her feel really pretty. All right, so here are some more complex designs for the older kids. Um, I wanted to keep it something that everyone will be able to do today, but you might get some ideas here if you're older and you're interested in adding some kind of different design. All right? And you can notice all the how colorful they are, all kinds of bright colors. And that's it. That was my picture from yesterday. All right. So you guys have a great time, and I look forward to tomorrow's lesson where we are going to. If you have it written down. Oh, China. Yeah, one of my favorites. All right, see you soon. Hello from Poppy and Pretzel.